Yes, people, welcome to Man Knows Football. I couldn't give a shit about the fucking intro right now. Chelsea have just been fucking humiliated by Nottingham Forest at Stamford Bridge 1 0. And today, you're not getting no tactical half space, all of this fucking bollocks today. You're not getting it. If you want that, go to the other tacticals that want to be on fucking Sky Sports and these shit platforms. Go and look for them. Because today, you're going to get this, my fucking heart, because I'm tired. We've been fucking embarrassed yet again. 1-0 to Nottingham Forest. What did I say? I've been saying for weeks, this is an opportunity for us to go on a fucking run. The next five games, I want to see 15 points. And we failed miserably at the first hurdle. People, um, I have to ask you to do this. Smash that subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up as well and leave your thoughts down there in the comment. But today, it's not it. It's not that day. I'm going to say some shit that's going to upset a lot of sensitive people, but I couldn't give a fuck right about now because I'm sick and tired. I'm not doing another season like what we fucking went through last season. And by the way shit's looking right now, it's not looking good. It's not looking fucking good. And once again, I've got to bring up the manager, Mauricio Pochettino. I have to bring him up. What the fuck are you doing starting five, six defensive players against Nottingham Forest at home? Can somebody please explain to me why the fuck we're going for these coward tactics? I don't fucking understand it. I'm trying to look for every reason to back this manager. I'm looking at this midfield. You've gone with Caicedo, you've gone with Enzo, you've gone with Gallagher. I understand injuries cannot give us our first choice, but the tactics make no fucking sense to me, bro. Why yet again is Enzo next to the closest to the striker? Why is he that number 10? Why is Gallagher next to Caicedo in the fucking pivot? Why do I keep seeing this shit? Why is Ben Chilwell at left wing? Get him out of here. I'm tired of seeing this guy. Get him out of here. He's not good enough in that position. He offers nothing going forward anymore. That left side is devoid of creativity. It's devoid of goals. Everything is going down that right side. As predictable as fucking anything. And we're only lucky that Gusto and Raheem Sterling are developing a partnership between them that seems to be working. Because outside of that, we are a dog shit show. Now, here's the fucking topic. This is the topic number one that I want to speak to you many Chelsea fans about. Nicholas Jackson, did you see him in the preseason? He's a hitman. He's going to get 20-something goals in the Premier League. This is what we needed. Breath of fresh air. He is not that guy. He's not that guy. He's not a number nine. And I've been trying to tell you for the past how many weeks. And the reason why I'm fucking vexed like this is because I'm tired of people coming in my DMs. Ah, uh, what are you seeing? Nicholas Jackson is blatantly a number nine. Where would you play him then? He's not an inside forward. Did he look like a fucking striker to you today? Did he look like a number nine that you can trust for the entirety of the season today? If your answer is yes, you need to go to fucking Gotham Asylum or something. Get your head checked. This guy is not a number nine. And he's shown you a more than one week. Today was an exhibition why this guy is not a number nine. I'm not even talking about the chance that he missed. How many times that centre forward position keeps getting vacated? Raheem Sterling putting the ball where you want it as a striker. Gusto very hit and miss in his delivery, but the few times, nothing's there. I saw several opportunities, first half, two opportunities, if this guy just got his feet right, he could have actually scored two goals. I saw another three opportunities where if he had occupied that space, he would have got there and scored. I see it other times. Malo Gusto and Raheem Sterling, they beat their defender. The last thing to do is put that ball in the middle of the box. Sterling or Gusto look up. This guy's in between the centre-back still. Where is your movement? This is not an... You're supposed to be elusive as a striker. Why are you hiding in between centre-backs? Is it because he's not confident? Is it because he's playing out of position? I think so. But he's definitely not good enough for the number nine for me. Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell. I'm grateful for what this guy's done at the club. But... That 12 mark, that extension, big mistake. Big fucking mistake. 
Pochettino, sort it out. Why the fuck are you playing this guy left wing? I can't do this no more. You lot know this is not my style. You know it's not my style to just come here and fucking lose my head. It's not. But I'm getting to a point where I'm sick and fucking tired. And the guy that has to take the blame yet again, Mauricio Pochettino. Mauricio Pochettino. What the fuck? Consistently going with this back five. I get it, Thiago Silva is a vulnerability in this defense. We can't play a high line and all that. Listen, there's certain teams, sit him out. Go with a back four. This is not in Forest. If this is Liverpool, Manchester City, Arsenal, I get it. We did this against fucking Luton. And what did I tell you? I told you people, don't get gassed, it's just Luton. It's just Luton. Oh, Jackson got his first Premier League goal. Oh, we're cooking again. Nah, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My head's fucking hot, bro. My head's hot. I need the fucking towel. I'm sorry. Honestly speaking, people, honestly speaking, we ain't getting top four this summer, this season. We're not getting it this season. Because this one of games that I said, I want to see 15 points from, yo, if you see what's coming after the next four games, it is shattering. I'm struggling to see us get a single point in the next run of games after these ones. Brighton, Arsenal, I believe United and Man City are in there somewhere. Where the fuck are we getting three points? No Nkunku in this team, big fucking problem. We don't have a striker that's fit. We don't have a striker that's fit. We don't have a striker that is fit. We have an inside forward masquerading as a number nine up top. When are you lot gonna learn? Learn to analyze the game. Look at this guy's characteristics and talk to me. What about this guy is a natural center forward? It's like I said, I'm sorry this video, it doesn't make much sense at all, but this is how I feel. Sometimes you're gonna get this from me. The more that they push my fucking buttons, Pochettino, like it did today, you're gonna see more of this shit. I don't wanna talk tacticals. I don't wanna talk fine formations. I don't wanna talk half spaces and all this fucking bollocks. But what I'm not gonna do is sit here and be like, oh yeah, Jackson, new signing, oh, I'm not gonna fucking do that, bro. I'm not doing that. Until I'm shown otherwise, he's not a number nine. Inside forward, yes. Give me him on the wing coming inside all day long. Maybe as a second striker, I don't fucking know. But not a number nine for me. This experiment in the midfield. Enzo Fernandez is a deep lying playmaker that belongs in a pivot. Why oh why? Are you playing Conor Gallagher next to Enzo in this pivot? And ironically, Conor Gallagher naturally is a number 10. Now, big man team, you see if we don't win these next four games, I'm talking 12 out of 12 points. You see if we don't win these next four games, forget it. Forget it. Forget top four. Do you understand how dangerous it's gonna be to miss Champions League football for next season yet again. <sighs> but that's the direction we're going, innit? Not in a forest at home. <sighs> the substitutions. Even when the substitutions happened. I knew we weren't getting nothing. In fact, I thought they were going to score again, I'll be honest with you. I saw Gallagher come off, I saw, okay, interesting. Then I saw Caicedo come off, I thought, mm, interesting. Because what's going to probably happen is, is, is not in a, we're going to break down and attack in the final third with these guys. And then not in the forest, they're going to hit us on the counter. We got nothing of substance in that midfield. 2-0. Lucky it didn't happen. Lucky it didn't happen. At one point, we had Mudrick. Matson, who to me is a left back, anyway. 
Madweke, Enzo, Jackson. On the pitch. Cole Palmer on the pitch. Against Nottingham Forest. They've been in the Premier League. This is their second season. Not a single goal. Not a single goal. We should have. We should have. Oh, 100%. We should have at least come away with a point. But that number nine that you lot were telling me and criticising me, what are you seeing here, Goni? You don't know what you're looking at. Man doesn't know football with that original joke. How long did it fucking take for you to come up with that? The same people... The same people that came at me for saying that are the same people that are going to want him sold come January. Watch. And this a poor guy. Poor guy. And then we're being told Vlahovic ain't good enough. Vlahovic, we don't need him. Yeah, okay, do you know what I will say? If you're citing purely the injury problem with his groin, all right, cool. I can't knock you for that. But everything else, he's not that good. He's not a world beater. And Jackson is. Nicholas Jackson's really that world beater. <sighs> Uncomfortable conversations. Very uncomfortable conversations. Thiago Silva, as good as he's been, we have to move on from him. This should be his last season at the club. Ben Chilwell, if this is going to be his role under Pochettino, get rid of him. He's not good enough to play that role. He's not. Absolutely stinking off that left channel. But I know long term, that's not going to be a problem once we get our injuries back, i.e. in Kunku and these man. But still for me, but you've made him vice captain, but he shouldn't be at the club. Shouldn't be at the club. This is the role you're giving him, shouldn't be at the club. Who else? Conor Gallagher works hard, that's about it. Shouldn't be at the club. Robert Sanchez, you're on fraud watch. I do not trust you. I don't trust you. This RC, I ain't got a criticism for him today like that, really. But that goal that Elango scored, let's talk about that. Caicedo gave away the ball. Okay, that's where the fool started. Thiago Silva, easily megged this, so easy. I want you easy, just boom, megged him, like he weren't even there. Embarrassing. Levi Colwell. <laughs> Levi Colwell, you're allowing Elango all that space to run unchallenged. One on one with this suspect goalkeeper is 1 0, and we didn't look like scoring. We didn't look like scoring. Listen, that's all you're gonna get from me today because I'm absolutely fucking disgusted with what I saw. Pochettino needs to fix up because I'm not gonna be the one giving too much time now. I'm not. Briar, I hope you come back soon. I hope you come back for the next game because this Nicholas Jackson guy, he's not it, I'm sorry. Pochettino, have some fucking balls. Six defenders against Nottingham Forest. Six defenders against Luton is not fucking good enough. It's not. This midfield experiment that you're going with, stop it. I'm disgusted. I've got nothing else to say. I wore this shirt today to prove a point, but then I remembered last year we'd done worse than this. But one thing I'm not doing is going through this shit again. I'm absolutely not going through this shit again. We are not going through the season that we went through last season. Now, I know that's an extreme, but I'm not going through no fuckery. I want that top four. I want that top four. And what I'm seeing right now is errors from this manager. And if they continue, I'm going to want him out sooner than later. A lot of you might be surprised. Oh, Goonie, chill out. It's four or five games in. Nah, no, 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 not this time. If you want fake positivity, if you want El Tactico half space merchants and all that, go to them. But for me, you're not getting that no more. Fuck all this. Fuck all this. This summer, we got some decent players through the door. But we ain't got a striker. And watch, we're gonna suffer. At, at least until January, we're gonna suffer. Because after these four games, them runs of fixtures look disgusting. And I don't see where we're going to get points from. Real talk. People, I'm done. I've got nothing else to say. 
If you want to hit that subscribe button, go ahead. If you want to hit that thumbs up, go ahead. If you want to leave your thoughts down there in the comments, go ahead. I will be looking through them. If you want to unsubscribe because you feel I'm reactionary, go the fuck ahead. I couldn't give a shit. I'm not here for clout. That's what I'll tell you. Absolute fucking bollocks this is, man.